um, a computer uh, can take input like our brain can, but it has real advantages to be able to process much more information, much more quickly, and much less emotionally. So I and Bridgewater uh, created um, like computer chess, think about a computer chess game, uh, computer decision making that reflects our thinking and our criteria and it operates in parallel, like, a, like playing chess with a computer chess game next to you. And we've done that all through and AI began in 1953, AI began 1953 in its various uh, forms. Um, and so it evolved. There is, um, AI is also acquainted with m machine learning. Okay, so now it's important to distinguish two things. Um, a m machine uh, following patterns and following whether those patterns will persist in right. the future. I think that I want to distinguish between um, what I'll call an expert system, what is called an expert system, taking your criteria and putting it in, and also AI, which produces a lot of data and produces then the output of what you should do. The gap between those two things is understanding. So if, uh, and I'll just to hit the highlight quick, um, if the future is different than the past and you don't have understanding, mm -hmm. AI is dangerous. If the, if the future is similar to the past, so you can look at things. If you're doing a surgery, you can have robots do a surgery because that same cutting, that, that same before. action yeah. is going to happen the same way. You don't have any problems. That's going to be great. So the power of machine learning to make AI is great. OK, but when you give up the understanding and the mute, the future is different from the past, it's it's a different story. The markets are different, difficult that way, because if something is learned, it's not valuable mm -hmm. because everybody does it. So it gets into the price. So it's important to understand the distinction. Yes, I follow actively what's going on in all computer. And I think that it's the greatest force because. What's happened in both of those ways, machine learning and uh, also um, expert systems, is that we have the computer to give us the capacity to learn and transact and operate in a much better way. So when you can learn at an accelerated way, because that's what progress is about. Productivity comes about by the fastest amount of progress because you know how to do things better. And so the capacity with computer-aided decision-making, so I'll do, put, throw both of those in the category of computer-aided yeah. decision-making. We are making revolutionary changes in the way that we're going to do things that, are, uh, that man has not seen before. And so it's very, very exciting. 